Hello and welcome to Ocean Interaction or go to channel for all the things game and game related. Um, I'm developing this game called Shootout Zone. It's a game for uh, PC, mobile and VR. And I have run into this uh, Niagara particle system uh, and uh, I thought why not share the solution with the community as well. So here I am. Uh, so you, if, if you want to know more about this project, the link is in the description. So let me showcase the problem. As you can see, when I am firing the weapon, the muzzle flash is too big. So I want to scale down this Niagara particle uh, system, but uh, the scale on the spawning is not uh, working. As you can see, if I scale it down to 0.1, there is practically no effect. For this one, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go to Niagara system. In every component, go to initial particle. And in the sprite attribute, there's a variable called a sprite size. Now the problem is that uh, every uh, uh, component have a different size. So as you can see, this one has a size of 1 and 0 too, while uh, the third one has the size of 0 0.5 and 5. Now in the new uh, system or newer version, uh, it will look something like this, but it's basically the same. It, it just have this one extra parameter, uh, parameter for uh, setting the size from here, uh, from uniform to random or any other values. So you, you can just ignore it uh, for this one. Solution to this problem is uh, to have a user parameter. So go to user parameter and uh, see if uh, the Niagara system already have a size parameter. Uh, you can change that here to scale it down or scale up the particle system. If not, you can just uh, create a new variable uh, for whatever type of variable uh, there is. So basically it is like a vector 2D. So create a new variable for vector 2D. Name it whatever you like. Uh, I, I'm going to name it size and I'm going to put the value of one as a default uh, default parameter for this value so go to <coughs> initial particle uh, so uh, on on every component initial particle sprite attribute sprite size and uh, from here multiply it multiply by vector 2d now for the a value uh, use the parameter user parameter which we have just created uh, it will be size and the second parameter which will be the default value which we had so just note down the value before changing it because it, it will be uh, resetting this value so i know that this value was uh, 50. so basically what we are doing is multiply by this value whatever the uh, initial value was with our user parameter so basically with the one size of one uh, and basically we are multiplying with the size we want so if if we put the size as uh, one it will multiply by multiply it with 50 and it will give us default result but if we want to scale it down we can just multiply it by 0 0.5 and it will give us the half of the value of what uh, the uh, what the initial value is <coughs> just go to every uh, component go to initial particle and in the sprite attribute uh, multiply it with the size uh, variable we have so in this scenario we have 1 and 0 0.2 note down the value before uh, moving forward so that you don't uh, lose the value So 1 and 0 0.2. <clears throat> Do this for all the component uh, you have in the Niagara particle system. So it, it has a value of 0 0.5 and 5. Set up for this uh, Niagara. Now we can just uh, scale it down from here. So let's say I want to double the size. I can just put uh, uh, double the initial size here. Let's see 10 by 10 and it, it has increased the size of the particle. If I want to decrease the size, I just have to uh, edit from here. So now let's see uh, how it looks in the game. Yes, it's smaller and better than what we had initially. You know, uh, we, we can adjust it, uh, adjust it uh, as we as we want like uh, of the individual component which uh, control the individual effect and overall size from here don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to ocean interaction for more exciting content what should we make a video on next let us know in the comments below until then happy gaming everyone <laughs>